This man has Down syndrome and cannot read, but he saved someone's life using a smartphone. An emergency situation always requires quick thinking, whether it's from the bystanders who witness an accident or from the first responders who care for the person or people in need. Every second counts. So when a man with Down syndrome was the sole witness to an accident, it was up to him to make the choices that would save a man's life. Fortunately, he was able to rely on his smartphone, a decision made even more incredible by the fact that he could not read. It was Labor Day of 2017 when Kevin Murray was at home with his father, Don. Kevin lives with Down syndrome, a genetic irregularity that's accompanied by delays in growth and learning. People with the condition also have a distinctive facial appearance. For Kevin, the condition had hindered his ability to read or write. Still, the 35-year-old did not let that hold him back. As part of some care services provided to him by a local charity, he had begun to learn to use a smartphone. So by the time Labor Day rolled around, he had made his smartphone work for him. Kevin used pictures to represent each person on his list of contacts so that he could easily find who he wanted to call, rather than relying on a list of their written names. Little did he or his family know, but this little hack would one day be the difference between life and death. It all happened that day in September when Kevin's father, Don, was in the backyard working. Kevin was the only other person home. Don's task towered over him, though, so he needed a ladder, and a 15-foot tall one at that. Unfortunately, as he toiled away, Don suddenly lost his balance and plummeted earthwards. Following the accident, he was unable to seek help on his own as he'd shattered some bones when he hit the ground. Fortunately, though, Kevin was there to help. He grabbed his smartphone and, with his picture-filled list of contacts, he was able to call his mother, Terry. She told Fox 10 that she knew something was wrong as soon as she picked up the phone. He was crying and said, Mom, Dad on the ground, Dad hurt, Dad on the ground. She recalled a few months after her husband's fall. Immediately, I said, I gotta go, I gotta get home, something's wrong. Terry's instinct was right. Don had suffered a handful of broken bones in the fall, most notably in his backbone. He was subsequently taken to the hospital where he spent an entire week in intensive care. In fact, Don's injuries were so bad that he wasn't released from the hospital after those seven days. Instead, he spent another six weeks in rehabilitation, a stretch of time that seemed to give him time to reflect on his son's heroics. Although he doesn't consider himself to be a talkative person, Don was able to express gratitude for Kevin's quick thinking in the face of an emergency. I thought he was pretty smart for doing that, he said. I thank him for it, too. Kevin's mother felt the same way, especially after seeing what a dire state her husband was in. I'm so thankful that we were able to teach Kevin how to use the phone, Terry said, because I don't know what would have happened. I really don't. Fortunately, she didn't have to labor over the what-ifs of the situation, as her son was able to summon help for her stricken husband. And that was all thanks to Kevin's training from United Cerebral Palsy of Central Arizona, a local charity. Despite the organization's moniker, United Cerebral Palsy doesn't just help those who suffer from the condition noted in its name. Instead, it aims to help anyone with a disability to lead a life without limitations. For Kevin, of course, that meant learning how to use a cell phone. But the organization provides all sorts of education and development programs for children and adults, including forays into the fine arts and sponsored community outings. As for Kevin's successful smartphone training, Carla Verdugo of United Cerebral Palsy could only sing the organization's praises. Because of the services he receives from UCP, he picked up that cell phone, he made that call, she said. Not only that, he knew it was an emergency and he potentially saved his father's life, Verdugo added. With such an amazing story in their books, the charity hoped more locals would sign up for classes and training to improve their skills, too. There's no word as to whether or not Kevin will continue his training, but it's clear his foray into smartphone education was a successful one. Now the family is reunited under the very roof where Don's accident took place back in September 2017. And for everyone who's heard his story, Kevin proved one thing to be true. It's a mistake to consider a person's diagnosis as a limitation. The 35-year-old showed that by learning to use a phone and consequently helping his father out of a very serious situation. Please share this video with your friends below.